we are back once again. Another stack of cards has opened on this journey, my friends. 43.3 billion GB has been accumulated so far in this series. We're so close to our end goal of 47 bill, my friends. Insane. Last week, of course, we accumulated another ice type to add to the collection from Elite Clues. So Elite Clues showing off why, you know what, one of the best hero clues go, okay? I'm not a scrub, okay? I won't give in to you hard clue gang. Elite Clue Gang for life, my friends. <laughs> but today, of course, we have 100 hard caskets, 100 elite caskets to open, and I need like eh, like 10 master clues or something to do another master clue run next week, which would be very, very exciting. But hopefully we can actually get that, uh, because last week's offering, we only got like 28 master clues, which is poor showing. So, without further ado, my friends, let's start the Wife Evaluator. Of course, I've got my Orlando Smith set on. Of course! I've got Hazel Mare Signet Ring on, infused with so much RNG, especially after l last week. Let's see if who comes out victorious today, the Hard Clue Gang or the Elite Clue Gang. Let's get it, my friends. 100 Hard Caskets, starting us off. I really want to see a Shadow Die from Hard Clues before the season ends, because that will, that will make it very close in terms of total GP gained between Elite Clues and Hard Clues, I think. Okay. Strong. We don't want to see more sex of effigies. We do not want to see more backstab caves from hard clues. A barrow's die, you know, it's here or nor there, but... Okay, 228k. Okay, interesting. 769. Not, see, like, good valuation here, right? Good valuation from hard clues, but... I don't know if value, like, consistent value is going to be... Is going to be enough. Okay. Our first master clue of today, <laughs> 70k, absolute trash. If I send an explosive barrel in here, I am going to die, <laughs> to be honest. 140k, just any type of log progression would be absolutely amazing. This whole season we've gone, we've, we've had a decent amount of third age pieces to add, right? But no uniques, which is a little frustrating, especially with how many um, unique slots I've got left. So, okay, but... That's the game, right? That's the game of RNG. You roll across that whole entire table. 62k. 152k. Oof. 75k. Hard Clues having a poor offering. No, this this is what happens, though. Hard Clues will be like... See? Medium casket to add to the collection. Getting closer and closer to 500. Um, hard Clues will start off really weak. And then they'll just come out with a banger. You just wait and see, my friends. Okay? That banger does not include a sack of effigies. I promise you. Okay. We've had enough. We've had enough of being sick of Effigies Gamer. That Gamer Tag is now being retired entirely. I've turned off the, those drops from um, ever being received ever. 123k. Another medium casket to add to the collection. Let's go, man. Okay. More exciting than a broadcast from Hard Clues are the mediums that we've gained along the way. That's for sure. They're my little friends now. Little medium casket friend. Okay. <laughs> our second master clue out of today. Okay, our third. Thank you. Generally speaking, I want to see about 150 million GP out of a stack of 100 hard clues for them to really, like, you know, be on par. Nice. And of course, puzzle skipping tickets really help hard clues along with that valuation. 77k. There's a reason why common loot from hard clues is just so much better than elite clues. 33% of that is in puzzle skips. <laughs> it's, it's actually insane. Okay. Well, even more probably. 137k. Absolute trash. Okay. 1.3. I do not want to see a sack of effigies. The only cape slot item I want to see is an explosive barrel to add to the collection. Okay. That's all I want to see. I want to see that little loaf of bread. Final 25 time. Okay. Come on. Give me the loaf. One day, one day the loaf will be mine. 155k, trash. 1.4. I think as soon as I get my first explosive barrel, I think my next like few broadcasts are going to be explosive barrels as well. Generally happens that way. Once the once the floodgates open, it's just, oh, it's just all game over. 121k. Strong. Very strong. More puzzle skipping tickets as well. 200k. Oh man, super restore. Okay. 
Back to back to back masters though. Let's go. 73k, especially our hard clues. That's unheard of. And then the final hard casket out of this deck of 100 now making it 7,200 hard caskets open so far on this journey. Is the dream alive or is it dead? Let's go. 165k, we reroll. 100k. Nice. Nice little haul there. 158 million GP accumulated from that 100 stack of hard clues. So I'm okay with that valuation, right? 100. I generally aim for about 150 mil. So that's about the consistent value that we should expect. Let's reset the wealth evaluator. And let's see if elite clues are going, going back into hibernation or if they are actually going to generate us some GP. Let's see it. 100 elite caskets starting us off, my friends. Well, ending us off, I should say. Of course, obviously, I got an ice die last week from Elite Clues, so I'm not expecting all too much, but Elite Clues can go on a tear as well, especially after the abysmal RNG that I've had um, over the past, like, uh, 1,200, 1,300 Elite Clues. Absolute terrible. Okay. 199k. Oh, that's a stacked clue. I got scared there for a second. <laughs> it's just a triple four. Okay, but a master clue. Okay. I was thinking, oh no, that's a that's a backstab cape value, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Threaten me, okay, we reroll. What I want to see is a banger to end us off, right? Blood die, third age die. Oh, that feel good. Trisk piece, okay. It's not a third age die, but that's okay. It's not a piece of druidic, unfortunately. One day. There's that green little leafy dominoes looking reef will, will show up. Okay. 75k. Oh, terrible. 263k. Just not the best either. 79. <laughs> In the bin, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's no shot that, like, we just get... Uh, elite Clues will come in and be like, okay, we're going to give you consistent broadcasts over 1 in 1,000 now. That's it. <laughs> There's no shot. 248k. Maybe my RNG is flattening out towards the end, right? Which would be poor. Technically speaking, though, oh my god, 27k. If my RNG is flattening out, that means that we should be expecting a third-day juridic piece, like, at the start of the year. So hopefully that continues. Strong reroll. 15k. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Elite Glue Gang, <laughs> stay strong. <laughs> oh, it will come around, I promise. Nice, another mask. Okay, first 50 is down, 50 more to go. We've only made 39 million GP out of the stack of 100. So it's really feast or famine with elite clues. Hopefully we can see a banger come out of the final 50. Come on. Otherwise it's going to be reserved. Oh, Dragon King. Otherwise it's going to be reserved for when we open the master clues, I reckon. Nice. I want to do another thousand master clue opening at some point as well. It's just, it's just a lot of time to collect a thousand master clues, obviously. Okay. 205k, absolute trash. Okay. 1.5. All Anna Smith hat proc and a master clue. Not a bad haul there. 119k, we re roll into broadcast. Can I call it twice in a row? Never lucky this time. Never lucky this time. Never lucky. <laughs> uh, 330k. I believe my last week's calling of that broadcast is the third time I've called a broadcast, by the way, which is crazy to me. But I've done so many clues, right? Over 100,000 hard elite master clues combined. So final 25 elite caskets out of the stack now. Come on. Come on. Surely Elite Clues are on a win streak towards the end of the season. Okay. 77k. 259k, not good enough. Just one little, you know, one little broadcast in there. One little piece of juridic. That's all I ask for. Not much. Not much at all. 104k. Okay. 111k. It's just not strong. It's just not strong enough. 178k, no. Get rid of it. Get rid of it all. Okay. 373k. Not bad. Okay. Come on, then. Just a cheeky little... 
little final couple. Okay. And then the final elite casket out of this stack of 100. I'm making it 7,200 elite caskets have been on this journey. Come on. 1.4 ending us off. Hey, I take that value. We got 30 master clues in total out of that full stack. We added added some more puzzle skipping tickets, obviously, and we actually made over 100 mil from a stack of 100 elite clues. So and that's not too bad, but if we go on another 1,000 elite clue dry streak, my friends, oh my goodness, before the series ends, oh no, no, it's not going to be a good time at all, right? Not at all. Another 250 million GP or so added to the worth evaluated today. No broadcasts, unfortunately, out of that stack, but we do have enough master clues to do another master clue run for next week, which will be very exciting, of course. 43.5 billion GP. My friends, I can feel it. I can feel the end of the season. My goodness, as soon as I cracked 40 bill, I was like, okay, look, it's time. One big banger broadcast and I just don't know I just don't know if the end of the season is going to end with a big banger or if it's going to be that slow grind right that hard clue consistency always winning out or elite clue big banger or master clue big banger to end our, our season off I don't know what do you guys think but regardless if you guys enjoy this kind of content which is pure clue chasing content please be sure to subscribe because this is all I do when I log into runescape.com with clue scrolls hard deletes masters upload them to this YouTube channel if you like this particular video smash the like button down below and if you have any questions comments queries you just want to chat about absolutely anything pop it in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible i hope you guys have had a fantastic day no matter where you are in the world and i'll catch you guys later peace